Hello everyone. We haven't spent much time out of doors lately, so today I hope you'll join me on a walk through some of the gardens here at Clover Hill. My boxwood garden is about to receive a makeover. In other words, the shrubs are going to be trimmed and shaped. I grew almost all of the boxwood from cuttings. Thanks to the pandemic, the shrubs had not been trimmed for two years in a row. As you can see, the shrubs are in dire need of a haircut. The boxwood is so tall that you can scarcely see the flowers in the beds. Mercifully, the boxwood barbers arrived early last Saturday morning. They arranged tarps along the brick walks to catch the clippings and to keep things tidy. The crew spent nearly seven hours shearing and shaping the shrubs. If you'd like to start your own boxwood hedge from cuttings, I can assure you that the job is very easy to do. Take tip cuttings about six inches in length and remove the lower leaves. You can plant each stem individually, or you can do what I did when I started my big formal boxwood garden and plant the stems in groups of five or seven. This way, you will create an instant hedge. The stems will grow roots in six to eight weeks. Here's my garden in 2006, when it was mostly just stem cuttings in the ground. And my, how those cuttings grew. While the crew trims the boxwood, I'm going to get busy in the kitchen garden. Today, I'm mulching the vegetable beds with a packaged weed-free straw. This particular bed holds my bell pepper plants. The tomatoes are finally scrambling up the wooden trellis I built for them. I remove lower leaves from the plants in order to mitigate potential fungal issues. I'm mulching the onion beds, too. Mulch suppresses weeds. It also shades the soil, which helps to conserve moisture. I installed cattle panel trellises in the kitchen garden. The trellises are both durable and inexpensive. Also, I like how they look. They allow me to grow winter squash and cucumbers vertically. And hold your hats, kids, because I just spotted a big weed in the pool garden. 
I hope you don't have wild sumac in your neck of the woods. It's a nasty invasive that is very difficult to eradicate. All right, it's two days later, seven o'clock in the morning. All the boxwood was trimmed. It actually took that crew about seven hours to do the job. So let's have a look. The boxwood is low enough that I can step over it. Sort of. Here's the clematis. Beautiful blue. I really love this perennial. And the blueberries are coming along. That I, love you. I love blueberries. In this little garden, I'm growing early, mid, and late season varieties. Well, I hope you enjoyed this time in the garden. I certainly enjoyed your company. In the comments section below, let me know how your own garden is coming along. Please like, subscribe, and tap the little bell icon to receive notifications. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye for now.